King Charles III has been tipped to shake up the inner mechanisms of the royal family by slimming down the number of working members in a bid to save up money. As part of his money-saving strategy, the monarch could push for royal residences to be turned into museums to earn more cash for the royal purse. Royal editor Russell Myers suggested Windsor Castle and Balmoral, which are both actively used by members of the family as homes, could be on the line to see more areas opened up for public visiting. Speaking to True Royalties The Royal Beat, Mr. Myers said, Charles is very keen about opening more of the palaces, certainly the ones that aren't being used. Windsor Castle would probably be one of them and would be opened more. He has plans to make Balmoral some sort of museum and certainly to bring in more money, to make it more sustainable for the royal family and for the country. The plan could also see Buckingham Palace, which for centuries has been serving as the official home of the British sovereign, turned into a bigger museum whilst the King and Queen consort Camilla remain in residence at Clarence House. Last month. Mail on Sunday's editor at large Charlotte Griffiths suggested the main residence could be used to entertain guests and dignitaries rather than as a main home. Ems Griffiths said, Charles is very fond of Clarence House and everyone in it, and not so attached to Buckingham Palace. So, I think if there are any cuttings to be made from the staff, it's going to happen at Buckingham Palace and he's not going to move in there any time soon. However, the king is said to be focusing his efforts on turning Buckingham Palace and other residences into more efficient enterprises. The Sun's royal editor Matt Wilkinson told True Royalty, for Buckingham Palace, the work they're doing at the moment, they are absolutely transforming it, because of things like heating, it's 2022, and we change our houses to make sure they are energy efficient, and he is doing that to Buckingham Palace currently. The project was started while the Queen was still alive. He continued, we have Windsor Castle. He hopes to be spending two nights at Windsor Castle a week and three nights a week at Clarence House. When asked about Highgrove House, the king's private residence in Gloucestershire, Mr. Wilkinson said, I think he is going to mothball Highgrove. I don't think he will be using it. He got rid of the tenancy at the farm. At Sandringham, he opened up one of Europe's leading organic farms, and he is going to be spending a lot of weekends there. Highgrove will become like Dumfries House, where it is used as one of his projects.